hi guys I wanted to do a follow-up sorry I've got like no voice but I have caught the kids head bug so um, I am about eight weeks in now with the hair recovery line and my bottles are almost gone so for me anyways that tells me that I get about two months of use out of them. I do feel like I have, I use a little bit more product than a lot of people do. I use about that much and I rub it in my hands. <coughs> Let me give you a little tip. Rub it in my hands and get my hair really wet. Get it lathered up like this and then I just dip my hands in the water, whether it's in the shower or the bath, to get it like super duper moist and bubbly, okay? And then I just rub that all over I feel like I'm a pro finally, and it took me a while to get it. So that's why I want to make sure that everybody understands, like there is a little bit of a learning curve with these products, for sure. Um, I think maybe for me, it's just getting the application right because with other shampoos, usually they're so cheap that we just use a ton of them, more product than we really need. So make sure to use just a little amount, lather it really well, use the water to get it going, and then you're going to rinse that off. The biggest tip for the conditioner is to do the same thing, to rub it in your hands. <clears throat> I usually start about midway, let's just spread it on my hands, start about midway, and then work my way back and down, and then whatever I have left over, I kind of put on the top. I'm going to make sure I get like all throughout my hair and then the biggest trick is to get a wet brush and to brush it all through to the end and then I let it sit for like five to ten minutes while I soak. Make sure you rinse it extremely thoroughly and squeeze it all out and then rinse it again. Um, it's important that when you wash your hair you wash it with warm water and when you rinse your hair you can use warm water in the beginning but when you're done run it one time with really cold water because that's going to seal your cuticle. Whoa and then there was light. Hey okay so I was just going to show you the last thing I do after I've got out of the shower I've rinsed my hair I've brushed my hair I take the serum and I just go down like the part of my hair and drag that with my fingers and I usually will take like a rat tail comb or a pencil or something sharp to kind of separate and get that mixed in. I always go over this thinning area because I've gotten such good results with that area. I've got a ton of new growth. So um, I definitely make sure to cover that area. And then just anything kind of sharp. I don't have my comb here that usually has the other handle. I don't know where that is, but anything kind of sharp is good to kind of just separate it into sections. And then just I put like a little, not even a whole pump throughout in different sections, but always working like your most thin areas and your hairline. Okay. And then come back over to this side and flip everything this way. And do the same thing get that kind of thinning spot so we can get some more hair there I've also noticed my hairline up front is coming further out these hairs around here are new <coughs> so I do get the front just to keep that strong and just keep sectioning and then once I've got it I feel like I've got it fairly well covered I will usually like kind of just reach my hand in the back in the middle in a few areas And then after that, I just take my fingers and really rub it through my scalp so that it's covering my scalp. And then I brush it through. Here's my brush. And then I brush it through one more time. Now, for one, for those of you guys that are um, not used to going silicone free with your hair, at this point, you can go ahead and put like bio silk or Moroccan oil on. If you want to go ahead and put silicones on your hair, there is no silicones in our conditioner because it isn't really known to be good for your hair, but it makes it feel good. So if you still want to do that, you can do that. Um, I did find an oil and um, silicone-free 
well, it's coconut oil, but it is sulfate free. It's phthalate free. It's got no silicone. And I put a little bit of that on because at this point, this is where you want to just get a little bit more of the softness into your hair. Okay. And then you're done. Lastly, for me, uh, before I go to bed, I make sure in my skincare routine that I use our Lash Extend. It has the same ingredient, the Capixel in it, that grows your hair. That's one of the ingredients that grows your hair. Make sure it basically stimulates your hair follicle for growth. My lashes were like nothing because my lash extensions broke them all off. And my lashes have grown back so much. And I'm also getting new eyebrow hair right here. Right here that never grew there like for years. Just finish rubbing that in and then you'll see tons of growth.